Hello? Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. How are you? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. How are you? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Uh, tell me your name again. Uh, my name is Shawali Mujadidi. How are you today? Alhamdulillah. This is me. Good, good. Good to, good to see you, man. Thank you. Are you local in Denver? Yes, I'm, I live in Aurora. I think I saw you at the King Supers today. Uh, King Super? Uh, yeah, or yesterday or something. Uh, it, it will maybe on uh, Tuesday. Tuesday, right, right. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. look familiar. <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, thank you. Me too. And uh, who, who else do we have on the call? I see Basu. Uh, so we have... Uh, we have a, a number of people on the call. Some are, are uh, native Arabic speakers and, and some speak English. So, uh, so we'll have a discussion in both languages. We'll start with the English language and then uh, we're going to have the same discussion in Arabic. Okay, that's good. So it looks like, it looks like I, it's, 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 a, it's a mixed group. Yeah, unfortunately... Uh, uh, Unfortunately, I cannot speak Arabic, but I like to speak, That's, and I will try to learn it. You, you, you speak you speak English well, so you'll understand the English part. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh huh. And and who else do we have online? We have Karim Salah. We have Badr. Hello, Mister Ihab. How are you? Yes. I'm good. How are you? This that. Uh, I'm good, I'm good. Is this Karim or Badr? No, it's Karim. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam, Karim. How are you? I'm uh, fine. What about you? Alhamdulillah. Good. Alhamdulillah. Mm, and then glad. we have, we have, uh, we have Badr, right? Yeah, good morning, Mr. Rehab. Good morning. It's, it's actually... It's, uh, it's, it's where are you three. located? It's because it's 6 p.m. here, so it looks like it's, it's another in Jordan. 3 a.m. Ah, you're in Jordan, Amman. Amman, yeah. Thank you for it's staying up late in Jordan. It's 3 a.m. It's now. <laughs> Thank you for joining <laughs> us this late. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thank you. All right. Okay, guys. So we'll we'll get started, and, and others will join um, in the next few minutes. So um, before before we start our discussion, uh, I want to I want to uh, tell you guys why why we're helping people get jobs in te technology. It's for me. It's it's um, it's a passion. I see it as a purpose. I came to Sudan. I came from Sudan to America twenty years ago. And, and I worked casual jobs. I worked at warehouses. I worked uh, uh, difficult jobs, a lot of heavy lifting, a lot of hard work. And then I learned and I got a job in technology in 2003, 2004. And I was able to help my family a lot because my income increased. And in technology, there's a lot of opportunities. And I was able to help my family back in Sudan a lot. And, and I want the same for everyone. So what I love to do, the reason I'm doing this work, is I love to help people get jobs, whether they're in America or in another country, whatever it is. My goal as a person, what makes me happy, what brings me a lot of satisfaction, and hopefully Ajur, is helping people get jobs. Are we all clear on, on why we're doing this and why we're having this conversation? Yes, it's clear. Good. So I'm going to tell you about myself. So um, um, I'm expert in large-scale network engineering, and I worked for the world's largest companies in the past 20 years, eight years at Cisco Systems, Microsoft, Amazon. I worked for direct for uh, Level Three, which is the largest ISP worldwide. So 10 years ago. Uh, 
um, I have a piece of paper here and I prepared some notes earlier today so that uh, we cover everything we'd like to talk about today. So t 10 years ago, um, I started a program and, um, and the goal was to help people get jobs in technology. So most people who come to me are people who have absolutely no background in technology, starting from zero. So what we do is uh, we train them to get their CCNA, their Cisco certification. And the Cisco certification is considered one of the best technology certifications. If you have the Cisco certification, it's almost guaranteed that you'll have a job. According to Cisco statistics, people who have the CCIE, which is the third level of certification. According to statistics, people who have that certification, uh, employment rate is 99% worldwide, meaning out of every 100 people, 99 people are able to find work. And one person is unemployed. So which, which shows that the, if you have the Cisco certification, the Cisco qualification, the Cisco knowledge, your chances of landing a job here in America is almost guaranteed, and your chances are very high in other places too. So the Cisco certification is a well-respected certification. The people I train are highly trained. I train my people really well. Some of them get 100% on the Cisco exam. 100% on the Cisco exam is a very high score. It's not easy to get 100%. Some of my people do get 100% on their Cisco certification. So once we complete the training and people are certified, then we have a five-day, uh, we call it advanced, advanced technologies class. It's a five days, and the goal is to, is to learn some technologies that are more advanced than the certification itself. So once you complete the advanced class, then you will work with, with me on some projects. So we'll work together on some projects. Like my company, ASIC, works for companies like Microsoft, Amazon, uh, DirecTV, and these are just examples. So these are the companies that I work for during the day. These are our clients. So you're going to help me with some of these projects. And the idea is to give you some experience. Because when you go to an interview and you say, I fixed a server, it's not like saying, I built a data center for Amazon. So that has a lot of weight on an interview. So these top companies are our clients. We're working with these companies on projects. So after you're certified, you're going you're gonna to work with me on some of these projects. It could be a project we're working on right now, or it could be a project we worked on in the past. The idea is to give you the experience. So, um, so now you have the certification, you have the experience. The next phase is we present you, we present you to companies, and we have a lot of trust with these companies. Meaning, when we present you to a company, it's a 99% chance they'll hire you. To give you a perfect example, uh, earlier today. Um, I have some. I know someone who uh, came from Sudan just a couple of days ago. He's looking for work. Doesn't even have a work permit. Doesn't even have work authorization. So, I spoke to uh, a small technology company. A friend of mine. His name is Manny. And this is today. I spoke to Manny. I was at Manny's office yesterday, and I spoke to him today also. And I said, "Hey, Manny, this guy." And and I'm telling you this story to show you the level of trust we have with these with these companies. I said, Manny, and Manny is a tech company. I said, Manny, this guy is looking for work. He's a great mind. And he's not the kind that likes to talk about himself and impress you on an interview or any of that. But if you get to know him, you'll like him. And you get to know him better, and he's a great mind. Talk to him. Manny hasn't met the guy yet, but he's willing to hire him. He's willing to hire him without even authorization. And, and he's also saying uh, he can use someone else's credentials, meaning work under someone else's name or something. I'm not saying that Manny offered him the job, or I'm not even saying he accepted the job. And I'm not even saying that I introduced him to Manny. But that goes to show you the level of trust we have with these companies. 
So when we meet a company and say, hey, one of our graduates is ready, is good, he's a great mind, he may not be the best person, he may not be the best person to market himself and talk about his skills and abilities. He is a great mind. Get to know him. Most likely, they'll hire, they'll hire you. So usually, we don't even have to say much to get you a job. It's very, very, very easy for us to get you a job. Are we all clear, guys? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. So um, the, the people who completed the program in the past uh, 10 years today are working, they're working for America's top 10 companies. All of them, every single person who completed the program in the past 10 years is, today is working at America's top 10 companies. We have people at Microsoft. We have people at IBM. We have people at Comcast. We have people at Charter. We have people at Spectrum. Many of them actually at Charter and Spectrum. We have people at Cisco. We have people at Tesla, the car company. We have people at Toshiba. We have people at Verizon. So our, our graduates, they get jobs at the world's largest companies, and they are being promoted. Why? Because they are highly trained. They know the technology really well. So we'll, 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 we'll speak to a company and we'll say, hey, we have this person. He's highly trained. He's a great mind. He understands the technology well. And you will understand the te technology well when we get to that point. And, and we'll lay the foundation for you. We'll tell the company, that, hey, you may not be the best person to interview or to market yourself. However, you are a great mind. And, and our experience with these companies, they'll hire our people. And they'll like them and they'll promote them. So like I said, it's very, very easy for us to help you get a job after you complete the training and after you work on some projects. So then we'll schedule an interview for you. We'll go to the company. And before the interview, we'll prepare you, meaning we're going to say, okay, here's the project you're going to talk about. Here's what you're going to tell them. We'll write it for you on a piece of paper. If, if communication is not your strongest area, we'll write it on a piece of paper paper. You read it and read it again and read it again until you memorize it. And then you can practice talking, speaking about this project. Then you go to the interview and you get the job. So we started with, uh, we started with one student 10 years ago. Our upcoming class, which, is, which starts on Monday, uh, of next week in two days, we have 60, 60 to 70 people uh, signed up or registered for the class. And the reason is, the reason is there's so much growth is, like I said, every person who completes the program is able to get a job. So uh, after this conversation, I will, uh, I'll probably post this, this information session on YouTube and I'll send you a link. And, and on the description, I'll include my LinkedIn profile, uh, which, which speaks about my experience, and I'll also include links about the students, the graduates, and where they work today. So there's many testimonials, people speaking about their experiences. My name is so-and-so, I work for Microsoft today. My name is so-and-so, I work for this company today. So, so I'll post, um, I'll upload the video, and I'll include my LinkedIn profile, if you want to connect with me on LinkedIn. And I'll also include 15 to 20 um, um, people speaking about their experiences and their experience with the program and where they work today. Like I said, all of them, all of them are working for America's top 10 companies specifically. And we do have some people who are international, meaning they're in other countries. Same thing, when they complete the program, they're certified, they, they have the practical experience also, they work with us on some projects, that U.S. experience can help you get a job wherever you are. If you're not able to come to America for any reason, 
having that U.S. experience, working with an American company, being able to go to an interview and say, hey, I trained with this company in the States. I'm working with them. We're currently we're building this data center for Microsoft, for Amazon, whatever it is. That experience will help you get a job in your home country. So our, our goal is not only to help people. Yes, 90% of our people are in the States, but our goal is to help everyone worldwide. So any country, wherever you are, working with us, if you get, it's probably going to, if you come to the States, great, and we'll definitely help you. But if you stay local, uh, wherever you are, your experience with us will help you uh, get a job at your country, or you can even work independently, start your own business, and we can teach you and show you how to get clients, how to build a business, and you can be an independent contractor too. So that's also an option for, uh, for people who are uh, outside of the United States. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to post this video on YouTube. If you're watching the video on YouTube, uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever it is. The goal is to spread the message to many people, and our goal is to help many people get jobs. So uh, do we have any Arabic speakers? I, I, I'm finished with the English part. And do you have any Arabic speakers on the call? I think there was Kareem. Yeah, it's Kalam Arabic. Okay, good. So guys, I'm gonna to speak to Kareem in Arabic and, and then we're gonna have a Q&A where you guys can ask me questions. I'll answer the questions. And then if you guys are interested, we have an Arabic group starting, like I said, 60, 70 people starting on Monday. And then we have a similar group, which is an English group. It's the same curriculum, the same project, except the language is different. So, so we work in two different languages. So we have an English group also starting in a couple of weeks. So after I speak to Karim in Arabic, you guys are going to ask me questions. I'll answer your questions and, and, and understand who likes to join the English class and who likes to join the Arabic class. And we'll go through the program and you guys will get jobs and you will tell more people and we'll help more people get jobs. So Karim, tell highlight. Alhamdulillah, 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 <تصفيق> يعني ترفع أوزان تقيلة جدا وفي زمان تعارف وبعد ذلك إذا علمت واشتغلت في مجال التكنولوجي قدرت أساعد أهلي كثير جدا في السودان من من السودان فساعدت ساعدت أهلي كثير جدا فدائر أساعد أكبر عدد من الناس يشتغلوا في مجال التكنولوجي وكذلك يساعدوا أهلهم فده الغرض أكثر من البرنامج ده كله فأنا خبير في المجال بتاع الشبكات واشتغلت في أكبر عشر شركات يعني اشتغلت في أكبر شركات أمريكية يعني مم. اشتغلت في الناس اللي تخرجوا من البروجرام اشتغلوا في التوب 10 كومباني أنا تحديدا اشتغلت في أكبر ثلاثة أربعة شركات في المجال ده يعني اشتغلت في 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 ليفل 3 اللي يعتبر ذا لارجست أي إس بي في العالم اشتغلت في سيسكو ثمانية اثنين اشتغلت في مايكروسوفت اشتغلت في أمازون فالبرنامج بتاعنا بندربك عشان يكون عندك التي سي ان اي سيرتيفيكيشن الشهاده بتاعت السي سي ان اي هي شهاده يعني يعني انت اذا عندك الشهاده دي فرص شغلك كبيره جدا بالذات هنا في امريكا يعني حسب الاحصائيات بتاعت ناسيسكو الناس اللي بيصلوا بيصلوا للمستوى الثالث في شهاده سيسكو 99% منهم شغالين يعني في كل 100 نفر في 99 شغالين فهي الشهاده كون عندك الشهاده دي براها بتضمن لك فرص عاليه جدا في الشغل وغير كده نحن ناسنا برضو يعني هايلي هايلي ترين بيندربوا تدريب ممتاز يعني عادي بيكون عندنا الناس بيجيبوا 100% في الامتحان وفي امتحان السيسكو دي درجه ما صحيح لكن بالنسبه للناس اللي بيشتغلوا معانا عادية في ناس جابوا الدرجه دي بعد ما تنتهي ويكون عندك الشهاده عندنا كلاس اسمه الادفانس تكنولوجيز كلاس بتاع خمسه يوم بنشتغل معاك 
تكنولوجيز متطوره اكثر عشان يكون مستواك اعلى من الشهاده. فبعد ذاك بتشتغل معنا مشاريع. احنا شركتنا بتشتغل مشاريع لشركات زي امازون زي مايكروسوفت زي دلوقتي تي في الشركات الكبيره دي بتشتغل معنا في مشاريع عشان يكون عندك الخبره عشان لما تمشي معاينه تقول انا طلعت السيرفر ما زي لما تقول ان انت مثلا بنيت داتا سنتر لمايكروسوفت. فدي خبره عندها وزن وعندها قيمه. وبتشتغل معانا في مشاريع عشان يكون عندك برضه خبره يعني مفهومه واضحه بالنسبه للشركات. فبعد ذاك بنعرضك على الشركات. بنعرضك على الشركات على اساس انه تشتغل. وعاده لما نعرضك على الشركات عندنا معاهم درجه عاليه من الثقه لانه شغل كثير من ناسنا وناسنا مستواهم عالي جدا. فالتجربه كانت ممتازه فلما نعرضك عليه عموما نحن علاقاتنا مع الشركات وعلاقاتنا مع الريكروترز ومع البيزنس اونرز ومع المانجرز ممتازه جدا والثقه موجوده يعني ابسط مثال اليوم مثلا في واحد انا بعرف جاء من السودان قبل كم يوم حتى ما عندي اذن عمل داير يشتغل ما عندي اذن عمل ما سهل اوديه لمايكروسوفت لكن مشيت لواحد عنده سمول تكنولوجي كومباني رجل صغير اسمه ماني مشيت قلت له يا ماني في واحد داير يشتغل He's a great mind, زول فاهم، زول راف يعني بالعربي زي ما بنقول. و و وقلت له هو هو ما من نوع الناس اللي بيعرف يتكلم عن نفسه ويسوق لنفسه وكذا. وما بيعرف ما بيحب يتكلم عن نفسه كثير لكن ربما في الانترفيو اداؤه ما يكون ممتاز لكن لما تعرفه هيعجبك كثير جدا وحتنبسط من الشغل معاه وكذا وهو رجل فاهم. فما انا قال لي انا حشغله حتى لسه ما قابله. قال لي انا حشغله ممكن يشغلوا بيكون زول ثاني بيو كريدنشالز بتاع زول ثاني يشتغل بيه اذا هو ما عنده اذن عمل وكذا فانا ما بقول انه ما نشغله ولا بقول انه هو ده بيجيب للشغل ولا بقول انه انا عرفته من بعض هل انا بقول عندنا درجه عاليه من الثقه يعني نتكلم مع الناس اللي بنعرفهم نقول لهم عندنا زول مؤهل بيثقوا في كلامنا ده ولما تشتغل معاهم فعلا حيجدوا انك مؤهل يعني كثير من الناس اللي كملوا البروجرام يشتغلوا يتدرجوا في شركاتهم برضه يدرجوا دي جات بروموتد وكذا وفي اوضاع افضل وكل الناس اللي كملوا البروجرام كلهم تحديدا اشتغلوا في اكبر عشر شركات امريكيه زي مايكروسوفت اي بي ام كوم كاست تشارتر سبكترم سيسكو تسلا توشيبا فرايزن انا انا حارفع الفيديو ده في اليوتيوب وفي الديسكربشن حيكون في اللينكين بروفايل بتاعي يو كان كونكت معاي وحيكون في بعض الناس المهندسين بيتكلموا عن تجاربهم وهم مم. شغالين وين اليوم؟ في زي 15 ل 20 نفر او بروبلي 14 ل 20 نفر عندي لهم فيديوز جاهزه ات ويل بي بوستد برضه فممكن ممكن تسمعها. فبنتكلم مع الشركات بنجيب لك الانترفيو بعد ذاك في الانترفيو ذاته انت ماشي الانترفيو بنجهز بنقول لك اتكلم عن البروجكت ده قول اذا كان الكوميونيكيشن ما نقطه قوه عندك بنقول لك قول لهم كده اتكلم عن البروجكت ده وبنكتب لك الكلام انت تحفظ الكلام وتكرره وتحفظه ثاني وبعدها ممكن تراجع مع نفسك تقول وكذا فبتمشي بتشتغل الاسئله اللي حيسالوك لي كلها حتكون اسئله بالنسبه لك سهله جدا لان احنا عندنا تدريب ممتاز ف قصه انك تشتغل ممكن اقول لك يعني 99% او اكثر بالنسبه للناس اللي في امريكا اتكلمت برضه عن انه احنا بدينا قبل 10 سنين بطالب واحد الدفعه الجايه اللي حتبدا يوم الاثنين في 60 نفر ففي زيادة كبيرة جدا في الناس ليه؟ لأنه أي زول بيكمل البروجرام بيشتغل. بيشتغل قلنا في أفضل عشر شركات أمريكية، عندنا بعض الناس في دول ثانية. الناس في في دول ثانية قصة إنه هم يتدربوا معانا واشتغلوا بروجيكتس وكذا. دي تعتبر خبرة أمريكية حتى في يعني إذا جيت أمريكا ممتاز لكن حتى في دولتك القصة ده ممكن تساعدك يعني في ناس القصة دي ساعدتهم واشتغلوا انت لو في اي بلد مثلا قلت انا مثلا نتورك انجينير وشغال في شركة كذا واليامات دي مثلا شغالين في بروجيكت بنبني كذا كذا لمايكروسوفت دي خبرة تعتبر عالمية وبتساعدك ان انت تلقى شغل في بلدك وحتى في بلدك اذا ما لقيت شغل مع اي شركة ممكن تشتغل اندبندنت يعني انت تعلمت وعرفت الشغل ممكن تشتغل اندبندنت واشتغل براك وبعد كده احنا برضه نوريك تشتغل اندبندنتلي ونحن بعدها ممكن نساعدك يعني نوريك انه كيف تجيب البزنس، كيف تتكلم مع الناس، كيف تسوق، كيف كذا. فحتى للناس الاوفر سيز التعليم العالي والتاهيل العالي والمشاريع اللي هي لارج سكيل ومشاريع قيمه بتساعدك حتى اذا انت 
ما في امريكا اما بالنسبه للناس اللي في امريكا طبعا البلد دي بلد تكنولوجي وموضوع يعني مضمون ممكن نقول الى حد كبير واضح؟ واضح تمام أم ممتاز سؤال اذا يمكن الان حد الشباب دي المجال يسالوا وبرضه انت اديك مجال برضه تسال وكده اوكي ممتاز كريم اسمك مش كده؟ يا yeah. ممتاز ممتاز اوكي جايز ثانك يو فور البيشنس اند سو ناو وي كان If you guys have any questions, then I'll answer them. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Mr. Ehab. Can you hear me? How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I'm asking introduce, about introduce, if you will... Introduce yourself first. Introduce yourself. So. Yeah, it's uh, Badr Rahamna from Jordan. I'm uh, working Badr, now in... Um, I'm fine, thank you. Working as a systems engineer in telecommunications ministry in Jordan. Uh, I'm looking for actually with the CCNA if we will talk about the fiber transmission or fiber access like uh, bone or G bone. So, so the, the CCNA uh, curriculum does speak about fiber briefly. It's not, uh, it's, uh, it's part of the curriculum. So for example, by the time you complete the program, you're gonna understand what kind of cabling is required within a building, what kind of cabling is required to connect 10 buildings in the same city, what kind of cabling is required to connect 10 buildings that are 10 kilometers apart which obviously you need a fiber optic cable, as you know, not a copper, right? Yeah. Okay, so, so, so we will uh, focus about uh, on routing and switching. We're going to focus on routing and switching. What you're speaking about, and if you're talking about like advanced technologies like DWDM and, and other kinds yeah. of fiber, it's, uh, th that's advanced and, and looks like Your level is very advanced, just based on what you told me, like your systems engineer working at the Telco ministry, just based on the discussion the past two minutes, it, it's obvious to me that uh, a lot of the CCNA topics, you're already ahead. So you, you, you're ahead. So uh, we're not going to go into that depth on, on fiber optics. We will discuss mm -hmm. fiber optics briefly. What I guarantee, though, The other topics on the CCNA, like routing, switching, spanning, tree OSPF, and all that, you're gonna you're gonna be expert level on these technologies. That's something that's something I'll I'll guarantee. And and so, after the program, if you want to get your CCNP or CCIE, it's also gonna be very easy for you. And I don't like to speak about the details of the program itself, but once you attend, in the first three four days, you're gonna understand the level of depth we're talking about. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so, well, all the time, it's very difficult to, to join like uh, 3 a.m. like this. I, yes, for you, it's not easy, but we do have people uh, join from other places. Like, for example, um, uh, like usually I'll have, let's say, 70 people in a group. 69 yeah. would be in America. Oh. But then... <laughs> Two or three, maybe in other places, right? And and they'll have to uh, to wake up late and and guess what? Based on the experience, they still attend the class. Yeah, so they, it's okay. They may miss it. They may they may miss a day or two, and that's understandable. But they attend <laughs> most of the classes. <laughs> so can can we shift for and, like for and, three or three hours and, before and you know, or after? Yeah. Badur, I like you to be part of the of the program, and and uh, it, it's going to make you one of. It looks like you already have a job. The program is going to make you one of the best at your job, and then you, <laughs> okay. and then you'll get promoted. Yeah. So so you will have the same time uh, all all lectures. Uh... The classes, the classes are mostly 
uh, yes, mostly at night. So uh, the class is like, let's say, for example, tonight I have a class at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. That would be that would be uh, that, that, in two hours, in one hour and 20 minutes from now. Yeah. So that would be at four four Jordan time. Like it's like five, but if you do it like nine p.m., it will be okay. Like six a.m. in Jordan will will be fine. I think I think based after this conversation, and I upload this mm -hmm. video on because we were usually speaking to people in the state. But I think after I upload this video on YouTube, there's going to be many international people. And once there's enough, yeah. because like I said, all our people, most of them are within the state now. But once we have um, more international people, then yeah, we, you mm -hmm. can call me and I'll, you can text me and I'll send you my number. And then you can call me to talk more about timing. So if we have like significant number of people or many people overseas, then we can have a yeah. special time for them. That will be fine. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Good talking to you. Thank you. All right. Uh, who else? Uh, I'm Shawali. Uh, I had uh, Shawali. Yeah, Shawali. that you. Okay, Shawali, how are you? Alhamdulillah, you saw me in the King Super, as you said. Uh, uh -huh, so. Uh -huh. My question is, how long is the, this training? Uh, the I think you mentioned five gates. We will uh, work on five gates. So how long it will take to finish? So the the, so, so the, the training, the, the certification itself, we can easily, easily complete the training in three months. And that's, that's easy. However, the past 10 years, I've been training people for the same certification, and I trained them in seven months. And there is a reason for that. The reason I train in seven months is I want them to get 100% on the exam, and I want them to be able to answer every technical question on the interview. Because when I go to a company, I don't do a lot of marketing. I just go and I say, hey, I have this guy who's great. He's very knowledgeable, hire him. That's all I say. When you go to an interview, I want you to be able to answer every single question. When you get the job, I want you to be one of their best engineers, and I want you to get promoted. For that reason, I extend the training period. Because if you learn something in two weeks, it's not like learning something in seven months. The level of depth is going to vary. So like I said, the class can be completed in three months. It's doable. My personally, my preference and based on experience, and like I said, every person who completed the program was able to get a job. Why? Because they go to the interview and they answer every single question. So it's, it's very valuable, it's very beneficial to learn the proper way. But then we can have a conversation. Like in the class, we can have a discussion on can we make it four months, can we make it five months, can we make it six months? We'll have a conversation and together we'll decide how long the class, how long we want the class to be, even if we increase the hours. Instead of uh, two hour training every night, Monday through Friday, we can make it a four hour training. That way we finish in four months and the quality is still the same. So we can talk about the duration, how many months. What's very important to me is to keep the quality because it's working. And if something's working, you know, do more of it. Okay, thank Did you. Answer your question. And yes, and uh, after the uh, finishing the, uh, the training, uh, you said uh, uh, we should work with your company to get the experience. So how how long is that? Uh, to get that, yeah, after that's about, about when training is yeah sorry when training is done we get the certificate or that uh, after getting uh, experience uh, in the in your company then we get the certificate so so once you complete the training the certificate is internationally recognized so you just go to any training center and you take the exam and you'll pass and you'll get over 95% the least score in my class, the lowest grade was 95%.
And they have, there have been some people who got 100% on the Cisco exam. So you go to a training center, a Cisco authorized training center, you take the test and you will pass. Once you have your certification, you come back to me, we have a five day class, advanced class. And then for two, three weeks, you work with me on some projects. That way you have the experience. Then we'll present you to companies, you interview, you get a job. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, that, that's all my question. Perfect, perfect. So, Badr, um, Badr, are you in? Are you with us? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, Shawali, are you in? Yes. Perfect, perfect. I'd love to have you guys in the class and uh, we'll do great things together. Who else? Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Hello, I'm sorry, have finally, I can't talk or no, how, not here. How are, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm, my name is Basil. Good. I am from Syria. Basil. Yeah. Okay. But uh, I'm right now in Arizona. I came before one year. So actually my question, I need to get some advice from you. Like experience, because I have bachelor's degree in IT engineer since 2018. Like I graduated over there in my country. So I came in 2022. I tried to find a job with IT because I already did two courses about CCNA and CCMP, but I didn't get the certificate. So honestly, I tried to get a job, but maybe without experience, it's hard, or without certificate, it's too hard to get a job with networks like section. So I'm very excited to start like the class with you, but you said it's gonna take four months. Uh, it's, it's let's say four to seven months and we'll talk and we'll see how soon you guys want to finish. Like personally, I like the seven months because then people are very knowledgeable and they're able to get jobs easily and they're able to succeed and get promoted. But then we can have a conversation about the duration. We can make it four months. If you guys are willing to work three, four hours instead of two hours, then yeah, we can make it, uh, uh, we can make it uh, four months. The, based on what you told me, Basil, you, you uh, studied for the CCMA, you studied for the CCMP, and you didn't get the certification. Is that correct? Yeah, exactly. It was in okay. 2019. Here, here, here's how I see this is going to play out for you. So um, you're going to, when you complete the program, you'll get your CCMA, and very easily you'll get your CCMP, so you're going to be certified on both CCNA and CCMP, you'll also have the U.S. experience on your resume. You're going to say you're part of ASIC. ASIC is our company. On the resume, you're going to say you're part of ASIC and you worked on this project. You build this data center for Microsoft. You need this work for Amazon. All the projects that we're going to work on are going to be listed in your resume. So you have your CCNA, you're certified now, I understand you studied, but you didn't get the certification. Yeah. But now we're talking about you being officially certified. So after the program, you'll have your CCMA. If you like, very easily, you can get the CCMP too. Because I call it the CCMA class, but even the CCMP curriculum, we still teach in the CCMA. The class is going to prepare you for both certifications. So you're going to be CCMA certified, CCMP certified, and you have the world's largest company on your resume. And, and you have excellent projects that you worked on, I think this will increase your chances um, highly in wherever you are to get a job. If you're still not able to get a job, because I understand in some places it's competitive, but, but then you're gonna have a lot of knowledge, a lot of experience. So it's gonna increase your chances significantly to get a job. If you still don't get a job, then you and I can work together I'll give you some ideas on how to be an independent contractor. Because in any country, there are people who work independently, don't work for anyone, they work for themselves. I work for myself. 
Like for example, I go to Microsoft, I don't wait to get a job offer. I go to Microsoft, I get a project for them, but I'm not an employee of Microsoft. I go to Amazon, I get a project. I'm not an employee of Amazon. So you can work independently. And, and uh, so we can have a conversation and I'll share my experience with you and, and, and the most effective way to be an independent contractor. Once you have the knowledge, then you can work independently. And I'll give you some ideas on how to market your services, how to sell. Uh, if I'm working on other things, I'll connect you with, with the right people who can help you uh, to market your services, to sell your services, to be an independent contractor. So that's something you can also consider. I think the priority right now is to get these two certifications, PTN and PTNP, and have that experience, work on some projects. So okay, that's that's interesting. I appreciate. It. And 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 I have I have someone overseas who joined my last group. Mm -hmm. We were able to connect him with an employer with an ISP in his country. So now they're talking to him and they're going to interview him in the next couple of days or weeks. So we can also introduce you to people. In in. We don't, have, we don't know any people in Syria, but we do have connections. We know people who work for ISPs in various countries. So we could talk to people, make recommendations if you're open to travel. We'll do our best. So for people who are in the state, the results are guaranteed. You complete the program, you get a job. As, as simple as that. People in other countries, we've had great experiences. I wouldn't say it's 100%. But we've had great experiences. My point is, I'll do my best to help you get a job because that, that's how we started this call anyway. And that's how I, I started the whole program. The idea is to help people get jobs. So I'll do my best to help you that and get a job. Yeah. Even All right. Even, even we are, like, I am in another state, like in Arizona. Uh, in, in, I think I thought I was talking to Basil. Basil is in Syria, right? Yeah, but I'm now, I'm right now in USA. I'm in Arizona ah, right now. You, you, are, you are in the USA right now. Yeah, I'm right here right Ah, now. you're set, you're set, you're set. Yeah, it's yeah. easy to get a job if you're in the US. And yeah. I, I start like like you. I'm right now working with Amazon Warehouse for one year. Okay. I, I try to, I get a course about Network Plus. It's low than CCNA. Right, a, CCNA. Right. right. But even... Right. I can't like get job with Amazon as at least at entry level. I'm trying to get that one, but I don't know. It's so hard. So I feel like you, you'll get a job. You know, you you you'll you'll get a job. Believe me, like you'll get a job. Inshallah, Bismillah. Inshallah, Basil, are you in? Yep. Okay, good. So, uh, Badur, Shawali, Basil, uh, who else? Assalamu alaikum, Mr. Ihab. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. I'm going to talk to you. I'm Florida. Alhamdulillah. Kifak. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, so I'm talking to you from Tampa, Florida. So, uh, nice. I really enjoyed uh, listening to you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Tawfiq. So, yeah. So, I have some like uh, a few questions like uh, how many classes sure. and uh, is there like a fee or like a, a cost? Or... Great, great question. To the so program. The first, the yeah. first, the first uh, thirty days, the first thirty days are free. There's no fee, and the reason is. It's an opportunity for you to decide if you like the technology, if you like networking. So it's an opportunity for you to decide if you love the technology or not. And it's also an opportunity for you to learn about the company and the success of previous people and where they work today. Once you have that information, you're going to be in a good position to decide. So the first, the first 30 days is absolutely free. 
once you complete the 30 days, and most people after the 30 days, they want to complete the program. They want to complete the remaining six months. And the fee is, is very low to the point that if you're doing any job, if you're doing any casual job here in America, working in a warehouse, driving for Uber, as long as you have a job, you'll be able to afford it. So the fees are, I would say, the lowest fees possible. So people attend the first 30 days. If they like the program, they like the technology, they, uh, they know about the success of other people and where they work today, they want to complete the program, they'll be able to pay the fee. That sounds good. Thank you for the information. Uh, for, the, for the classes, like how many a week? So, you know, like if somebody works, especially in other jobs or something. So, uh, I know like the classes like eight, as you say, eight o'clock, like eight p.m. or something. one more time to I I can hear you speaking about the timing of the class, but I didn't hear the question. Yes, uh, I was just asking about how many classes a week. Like, is is it every day? Like, is a class? It's five days, five days a week. Okay. Five days a week, uh, seven to nine, two hours. If you guys want to make it four hours so we can finish in three, four months, I'm open to that option too. Yeah, five days is good. Like two hours, I think, two hours a night. Yeah. Two, two hours yeah. a night, but that's going to take, that's going to take five, six, or even seven months, two hours a night. If you want to work more than two hours a night, three hours a night, four hours a night, then yeah, we can probably finish in three months, four months. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah, thank you, man. Perfect. Tofig, are you in? Yes, sure. Perfect. Who else? Okay, so uh, if uh, if any uh, Badur, Shawali, Basil, Tofid, you guys uh, all have my WhatsApp number, right? Yes, the group one, right? Okay, the the group one, or you can just send me a direct message on WhatsApp and say, hey, uh, sign me up uh, for. Just send me a text message with your email and say, register me for the English class or register me for the Arabic class. So simply send your email one more time on WhatsApp and say, register me for the English class or register me for the Arabic class. The Arabic class is starting on Monday in two days. Um, yeah, on Monday. The English class, I have many people registered but it's going to be a couple of weeks. So we're going to probably start in a couple of weeks. But as long as I have you on the list, I usually have many people on the list, so I won't be able to call each and every one. But I'll just send a message, I'll send an email, and I'll send a WhatsApp message to all. I'll say, hey, guys, we're starting on this day. Here's the link to join. So uh, send me a message with your email address, and just tell me if you're joining the English class or the Arabic class. Any other question, guys? Or I think I have a class also here soon. Uh, my class is at eight. We actually have one more hour. We can wrap up now if you guys are um, for finished with the session. If there's any other questions, I can stay for a few more minutes. So um, I have one small question. So, like, what's the sure. difference between the Arabic? I know, like, the Arabic class in Arabic and English. What do you suggest, like? Especially like uh, when living in the U.S., so do you suggest like taking the English class or the words in English? Or I, just I think I, I think if your native language is Arabic, it's best to take the Arabic class because we all understand better 
in our native language. So when you when you learn the CCNA in your native language, because like we were saying earlier, the goal is to be very knowledgeable so you can get a job easily. And in your native language, it's easy. Like when I explain concepts in your native language, you'll understand them better. You easily be able to ask me questions. You understand my answers better, that sort of thing. So the level of understanding for for all people, it's better when you're learning in your native language. So I would say if your native is Arabic, the Arabic class will, because keep in mind, technology is is mostly about the concepts, the technology, the devices, more than the language itself. So. Uh, so if you have that deep understanding, that all that matters. I have people who spoke very little English, but they're very successful today. Why? Because they really understand the technology, the technology at a very deep level, and they have the certifications. Make sense? Yes, makes sense. Thank you so much, man. You're welcome. And, yes. and tell me the name again. Uh, Taufik. Tofik, so Tofik, so are you to figure in, right? Uh, in the Arabic class, yeah. Perfect. But you send me a message, though, right? Send me a message with good. your email. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, uh, who, you're welcome, Tofik. I'll see you in class. Uh, who else? So we spoke to Badr, Shawali, Batil, Tofik. And um, I'm glad I spoke with you guys. Great conversation. And uh, who else? Any, any other questions? I see. Uh, I see. Muaz uh, just joined. I think Muaz is in. Uh, is overseas. I think, and uh, he just joined. That he can listen to the. He can listen to the audio. Muaz, do you have any questions? Or actually, listen to the. We're gonna upload the information session on YouTube. Listen to it, and if you have any questions, you can send me a text message. My, okay, uh, my uh, WhatsApp message, mate. You're welcome. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, we spoke we spoke on Facebook a couple of days ago, right? Right. Yeah, so just yeah, I'll upload the information session to YouTube, listen to it. If you have any questions, um, my WhatsApp number is two one four four five one eight two five one. Of course the code America zero zero one two one four four five one eight two five one. So send me send me any questions you may have. Okay, uh, who else? Okay, we spoke to Badur. I see Asma. Asma, are you there? So, Fig, I see your text message now. Good. Uh, I, th I think that someone in the group, uh, his name is Hussein, he's asking uh, if we started, and we did, yeah. So it looks like he's going to join in a bit. Asma, uh, are you there? So, yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you well. Yeah. So basically, I am uh, an information security engineer with uh, um, almost 10 years experience. So I think this class nice. is for the general level, right? So, so you're in uh, information security. You're in the you're in the right field. Like I was reading a report yesterday. It talks about the growth for cybersecurity in the next couple of years. It's going to yeah. be like three hundred percent, or thirty percent, or something more jobs. So you're in the right field already. What are you studying? Yeah. Uh, I'm already I'm already uh, an employment uh, in in Sudan actually in Sudatel I'm working in Sudatel right now, so um, oh, nice. I and I have a, a ten years experience in the field, so I think you you're, are you're in, uh, working with that. Your English with, your English is perfect. Like I thought you live here in the states. Thank you. 
You're welcome. So um, I'm professional and, and my profession is in uh, information cyber security risk management. So so uh, the quality of the call. Um, so so I understood you you already working in so the field uh, in cyber security. So you have experience in the field. Yeah, that's correct. Right. Okay. Okay. And what was the question again? So uh, you are working with the entry level, or do you have? Uh, uh, um, you, you know, like in a typical class, I'll have, I'll have, let's say, 80 people, um, 70, 70 maybe entry level. But then in every class, I have people with experience. It could be someone with a lot of experience from Dubai or Saudi Arabia or the Middle East or somewhere, and they came to America and they're looking for a job in America. So I do have some experienced people in the class, but I think even for experienced people, because as you know, the CCNA is not, a, uh, is not an easy certification, right? If you learn, even if you're an experienced person, if you learn the CCNA and you get 100% on the exam, it means you kind of elevated your, your knowledge. So we're not, we're not just completing the CCNA for the sake of the certification. We're completing the CCNA for the knowledge. So even people with a lot of years of experience uh, do say that they learned a lot and they benefited a lot from the CCNA from the from the CCNA um, classes. Like so, I'll I'll okay. send uh, I'll I'll send my I'll post uh, this uh, conversation on YouTube and I'll include the link to my LinkedIn profile. And there's a recommendation from a highly experienced person. His name is Sharif. He came to the class with 10, 15 years of experience, but he's talking about the class and how much he benefited. So you can read the recommendation in my LinkedIn profile. It's going to answer your question. But I think, okay. I think uh, having that deep knowledge on the basics is going to make you a better expert. And you are an expert already, it seems, but you're going to be, you're going to improve a lot because now, and a lot of people with a lot of experience, they may not, uh, they may forget the basics. So we're going to revisit the basics and, and dive really deep and understand the basics at a very deep level. Meaning after the class, you're going to be able to tell exactly what's in a TCP header source port, destination port, windows, flags. You're going to be able to tell exactly what's in an IP header. Not only source IP, destination IP, like most people know, you're going to know the details of the IP header, like the DSTP, the differentiated services code point, type of service, IP presence, fragmentation, identification, fragment offset. These are all fields in the IP header that many people haven't even heard about. And you're going to be extremely knowledgeable in these details. So it's going to open a lot of opportunities for you. Once you have that knowledge, getting to the next level, even if you have a job, even if you're an expert, getting to the next level is going to be easy. And I'll help you get to that next level. I'll do my best. Although you're not in the state. So, Mr. Rehab, the only classes you have is in A, C, C, and B, right? Is this is this a still Asma or someone else? Yeah, I'm Asma. Asma, are you in? Uh, I'm asking, do you have other classes other than C, C, and A, C, C, and B? It's it's a I call it a C, C, and A class. It's a, I call it a C, C, and A class. However, the class within the class, it has the CCNC curriculum as well. Meaning when you complete the class, you can get the CCNA and within three, four days, you can also get the CCMP. Once we're done with the CCNA, CCMP, you're gonna be working, we're not gonna focus on other certifications. You're gonna be working with me on some projects. We're building a data center for Microsoft. We're building this project for Amazon. We're doing this project for DirecTV. You're gonna be working with me on some projects to give you the experience. Because employers are looking for the certification, but the experience is also important. However, while we're working on the CCNA class, 
I'm going to teach you guys a little bit of programming, just the basics. So you know something about programming. I know we all think programming is not easy, including myself. I used to think programming is, is complicated and all that. And what I learned, it's very easy too. So although the CCNA doesn't require programming, the curriculum doesn't have programming, but I'll spend five minutes, 10 minutes at the end of each class, we're just going to discuss like very, very basic programs. That way, we can open our minds to programming, meaning if someone doesn't want to be a network engineer, and network engineering today doesn't require programming. But if somebody wants to go in the direction of programming, and, and that, that's a good path too. So, so our main certification is the CCNA. We will talk about the basics of programming, although that's not important, it's not necessary, it's not part of the curriculum. But we will briefly talk about programming because if someone wants to learn a little bit of programming, that'll be there too. Okay. Did I answer your question, Isma? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Perfect. Are you in? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. See you in class this morning. Badur, um, Tawali, uh, Tawfiq. Okay, guys. So uh, see you all in class. Inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you. Bye bye and salam alaikum. Thank you. All right. Bye bye.